that was actually for Rangaroo at the time. So behind you, a few hundred meters, we're going to explore that area tomorrow. And the whole area is called the Rangaroo after this lady. She did not take to European culture. Very nice thing, as you can imagine. Unlike her husband. She was invited to all the fancy dinners and stuff, being the queen. in white ochre, which is the white paint that they cover themselves in. And she was just like, I ain't doing your traditions, fuck you. She had like a nose piercing, which was like not common at the time, and she just stuck a bone through it, like really didn't care at all. The other area I want to tell you about is really important. With all this area over here, you see the more cool old like in front of the skyscrapers. So that whole area is called the Rocks. Originally it was called Talawalada by the First Nations people that were here. Um, and the reason I want to bring it up is because where the first fleet of convicts actually settled. So this was the very first, you know, the very start of civilization in Australia, or civilization as we know it today. Um, so I think it's a really fitting place for you guys to start your journey into. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually explore the rocks a little bit um, and I'll tell you some cool and interesting facts about that. Who's up for it? Okay. Let's do it. Awesome. Staying in a hostel seemed a little bit better, right? Yeah. So, obviously, like I said, one of the oldest houses in Australia, but 1844? Seem that old? No. I called my mum the other day and I was like, just out of interest, how old is our house? Um, and she was like, yeah, 1810. Which is like not that old for the UK. So it's just like a really like subtle reminder of how recent all the history in Australia actually is. Like the first fleet arrived in 1788. You know, it's really not that long ago at all. Um, but we're going to move on down this way, and I'm going to show you where a lot of that sewage is. 
Obviously, as I said, there was no plumbing back in the day. They had no pipes or anything like that, so it all ended up on the streets. So, essentially, you are standing in a natural sewer. All the pins and stuff would all just run straight down here and into the canal. Um, so, as you can imagine, it's changed quite a little bit since then. <laughs> yeah, it did. No one went into the uh, wine shop. <laughs> it was interesting you mentioned that. That would probably have been an open then, actually. Yeah. Because at the time, well, in the sort of mid 1800s, um, this whole place was dominated by a gang called the Hush. Um, and essentially, they were a horrible, nasty gang that ran opium dens and robbed people. They had female members of the gangs called Donners. And the donors would stand down by the uh, by the key, and they would like just stand there and wait for sailors to come in. And then they lure um, the sailors up here. I don't know why they had no idea what was going on, but when they got here, um, the male members of the gang would just jump them. They beat them up, rob them for everything that they got. Like I said, the donors would uh, take them in. Donors had nothing to do with Donna kebab. Maybe the same sort of temptation as a donut kebab for a drunk man. Um, so yeah, and as you can imagine, it's changed quite a little bit. It feels quite safe now, right? And so, like the city of Sydney really wanted to highlight that. They kind of wanted to move away from the fact that this place was just a sewer dominated by prostitutes and gang members and opium dens. Um, and the first hospital was actually on George Street, way down that way. And this is the walk that the nurses would have taken in the morning to get to the hospital. And hence they renamed it the Nurses Walk. Which is like a slightly better image than a horrible gang. So let's take the Nurses Walk and I'll show you the oldest building in the box. Hmm? Pretty cool. The 
reason it was here was because the water from the harbour actually used to come a lot closer, probably to the other end of the road there. Um, and two thirds of the whole of the rocks area is surrounded by water. So escape was pretty much impossible because most of the people, that, well, all of the people that would have come over that would have tried to escape were convicts, and most of them couldn't swim. Um, and why else do you think we wouldn't hop in that water right there and swim away? Sharks. So do not swim in Sydney Harbour. It is full of sharks. I think it was uh, not long ago someone like jumped in off the boat and like before he'd even like hit the water, a shark had taken most of his arm. So please don't swim in that harbour. Um, and then obviously one third would be surrounded by land, but going that way, you're going to go out to the outback. He actually noticed the species and it's nicknamed the dinosaur tree uh, because it was around when the dinosaurs were. And I just love how Australian this is as well because it's just plonked there with a cage around it and absolutely no explanation at all. <laughs> so you can imagine that Australian meeting. It's like, oh, all this building, all this tree, just chuck them together, mate. <laughs> Um, so we're going to move on and I'll show you the first building that you would have seen when you stepped off a ship. When you got here. Let's go. Stop 
one because they found the boat's gone. And so this has sort of just gone all the way up to the top of the day. Sydney and Melbourne still hate each other, but let me tell you, first, I should pick the right city. <laughs> I'm a convert, I'm a convert. <laughs> Sydney wins every day. Uh, another interesting thing I want to tell you about is we've got two flags on the either side of this building. Now that one up there, on positive we all know what that one is. I'm going to catch my eyes by asking you. And this one up here, does anyone actually know what that flag is?
So it's like 6 minutes 58. What the size? Yeah, I was, I was thinking the same. <laughs>
Super scary animals. I hate them. Don't get me wrong, I hate them. But like the chances, like you're much more likely to get hit by a car. Not that that's great either. But um, like the actual amount of people that die in the neighborhood is like super scary. Anyway, animal positive. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to head down to the waterfall, which is really cool. And we're going to get you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's probably teenagers. I'm just trying to see if anyone's home. Is that home? There's a few more webs in class time, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, in class time, I don't know. There's only one here before, we can't wait. Yeah, it's been four here when I was here last. They were? They were. Yeah, this guy was home. Yeah, they were. 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 I'm not going to get too close. That's right. Bruh. I am the most poisonous in the world. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where? They are. Yeah. 
ready to be free Try to disguise your light but the flames were too strong Oh What is underneath Waiting to be seen You can run and hide But the truth is like the sun oh. So get into the pool of it Let yourself fall There's a reason you've been pulled to it Listen to the call Saying, oh my God There's a light in me Could I not see it when the light is gone? You remember me and remind me of the meaning. It's always been me, it's always been free. I'm ready to receive My mind and my body are open to believe oh, So give into yourself on. There's a reason you've been pulled to it. Listen to the call. <laughs> 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 How could I not see it? When the light is gone, you remember me.
Yeah, we've got lots of space. Any other reasons? Perfect waves, yeah. And then there is one more. We didn't have guests to have one more on the top. The water's really shallow, but you can't really tell that from here. But yeah, our sandbar where the waves are breaking out there, it's really shallow, so you're probably not going to be going out of like waist to chest deep water the whole time you're here. It's really good, like you said, my man. We've got heaps of space. We have seven miles of beach, and there's like four other people on the beach that aren't surf camp. So we've got the whole beach to do whatever we like. And our waves are really, really beginner friendly. So they're small and friendly. Really small chance of getting wet right there. Um, today is actually one of the, what we call a bigger day, but it's still pretty much perfect learning conditions. So you guys are hoping for a good day. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
One. <laughs> just keeps bobbing up and
see you My heart starts to race You make me brand new You start me dead in my place I never felt like this before You're everything I want in more I never thought that it'd be like this before you I never thought that it'd be like this Before you who You who Yeah, you change me Each and every day it's amazing Losing my breath on the daily Again and again I never felt like this before You're everything I want Some of our favourite moments 
throughout the week. Um, and we're just going to do like a little recap and, and tell you some of our favourite moments. Who wants to hear it? Yes. Yes. So obviously we started on Monday and I personally felt like I was on the Kardashians getting followed around by Jordan with his camera. <laughs> um, going around the city and telling you guys all the history. Obviously we went to the Glenmore in the evening which was really nice. It had a lovely view of the city. Um, Tuesday we did a cultural tour and um, I really don't trust any of you guys to make cocktails for me in the future. <laughs> really funny to watch though. Definitely a workout. Um, and my tally was really fun. Um, a bit gutted that I didn't get to go to your trivia night. Also it didn't sound like you did not well at it. Wednesday was our road trip. So obviously we went to the oldest national park. Um, we went to Bald Hill Lookout, we went to Surf Camp, and we also met Graham. Um, and one of my highlights from this week was Graham playing Fuzz Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, that was really fun. And then on Thursday, um, carrying on our road trip, and the wine tasting at the Dolphins. We so lucky to see them. Um, and then obviously your Nile Ivy, sounded insane. And then Friday. Oh. Hello. Oh my God. <coughs> um, Bondi Beach. Um, what was really nice about that coastal walk at the end, personally, like was the rainbow. I thought, oh, this is so magical. Um, and then yesterday was probably my highlight of the week, just helping you guys plan all of your trips and just hearing about them today and how excited and buzzing you are for the rest of your time in Australia. Um, but we've literally had like such an amazing week um, and I'm so glad that I've met every one of you and they always say that you'll never forget your first tour and I know I won't forget any of you guys. Um, I know it's really cringy but 100% I won't. Um, if you guys are ever back in Sydney please please message me um, because I know that 100% you guys will be my friends if I wasn't a tour leader and you guys are my friends and that's the nicest thing about this week is that I could definitely call all of you like part of my little family. You're definitely in the Welcome to Travel family now. I've been, no, I've been banging on about it all week. Um, but yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah, so some sort of highlights from mine and Bonnie's favourite moments that you guys have given us. Some funny moments as well. Um, big shout out to Alfie for all his handstands. Love him. Love that you nearly took, uh, <laughs> took Robin out with one of them at Surf Camp when Zach made you do it. Uh, but also, most importantly for, um, you know, like, making sure that I can carry on my schedule as normal. Yeah. <laughs> really appreciated your permission on that. Yep. I don't know what I would have done without you, man. Uh, Emily, with her, all the wives, uh, confirming that she really was a pro surfer, getting up on those waves, she wasn't lying about that. Aditi, your book of inspirational quotes. I love the fact that I'm now in it as well. I think that's amazing. Um, yeah, so we uh, also realised we might have to pay Jordan for his services this week and uh, for all his photography and stuff, like, it's just been amazing. We can't wait to see that video, man. It's going to be awesome. Um, Sam, where is he? Forgetting what to say to a bouncer when he's asked you how many drinks you've had. <laughs> uh, Hannah, you finally realised how much better Sydney is than Melbourne. Crack him. Um, Katie. Summoning the uh, dolphins, the dolphin kite. We might not have seen it if Katie wasn't with us, so big thank you for that. Uh, Niall, you being better at my road trip games than I was. Um, and also your big smile on the face when I told everyone about drop bears. You knew that it, I was lying, and I really just trying hard to keep a straight face. It didn't ruin the surprise. I thought it was true. Last week, I believed it. I've literally been in Australia for six months. I've never heard of this animal. Oh. Tell us at the end it was a joke. <laughs> All the gymnastics on the beach. Molly, Emily, and Sasha just absolutely smashing them. Um, Trey inspiring a reunion with his marathon next week, so that's going to be awesome. Um, Matteo being the uh, token Canadian, bringing his true Canadian friendship and friendliness to the tour. Um, and also being the most stoic drunk I've ever met. You were just drinking, you just didn't change at all. I was like, oh, Matteo drunk or? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm clearly> <laughs> Alex's TikTok was amazing. I thought that was awesome. And also, you losing your voice, made me, meaning we all had to learn sign language for a brief period during the tour. Put Graham down there, we can all agree Graham was an absolute legend. Yeah. 
Uh, Robin, how much you love tequila, the face you pulled at the bar <laughs> with that picture is so, so funny. Um, Danny being so confident on the first day to give us the best nickname at the tour in Double D. <laughs> um, I just seeing some of the friendships that you guys made, you know, like forming amazing bonds. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so thank you all for, so much for such an amazing week. It was awesome. Um, and then obviously Clayton as well, making me think now from every time I make dinner with a glass of wine, I'll be thinking about him and his uncle Ben's in the microwave, really cracked me up with the wine tasting. Um, and then Jody's accent also, I think. <laughs> How amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much. Like, it's just been such an amazing tour. So. Ha, 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 ha. 